Peekaboo. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about how nothing surprises God. Yeah, have you ever been surprised by something? And I don't just mean like, oh, hey, a birthday party, you know, something like that, but I mean like really spooked, like, oh, oh no. Like this one time I was walking down the street and I almost stepped right on a snake and I jumped so high, I felt like I jumped like 10 feet in the air, I was so scared. Or like, do you ever play a game where, where you might hide somewhere and then you hop out and you try to surprise somebody? You ever played that game or has anybody ever done that to you? Whenever you do something like that, you want to make sure that you're not, you know, jumping out and scaring somebody whose feelings might be hurt if you spook them, right? And you, you don't want to be making fun of people. But but we play that game with my dad all the time. Me and my brother will try to jump out and scare my dad, and he never gets scared. I don't know, I don't know how he does it. And it's not that he never gets scared, but he never gets spooked. Like if I'm hiding behind a corner and, and he walks by and I jump out and I go, boo! He just goes, oh, hey, Douglas. Or like this one time I got an air horn, you know, those things you push on and it goes eh, really, really loud. And I, I, I hid behind a different corner and he walked by and I went eh, with the air horn. And he was just like, oh, wow, Douglas, that's really loud. Don't do that. It's so funny because he never gets spooked. I don't know how he does it. And actually there was this one time where we were at a party at my aunt's house and everybody, you know, was in the living room and we're all talking and having fun. And, and my dad was sitting on the couch and he just very calmly said, fire. And we all, you know, kind of looked at him like, huh, what, what, did, what did you just say? And he got up off the couch and starts walking towards the kitchen. And he said again, very calmly, he just says, fire. And we're kind of, you know, peeking around the corner. And yeah, sure enough, there was a pizza box that somebody put on top of a hot stove in the kitchen. And it was on fire. It, it was kind of a big fire. It was about as tall as I am. But my dad just walked into the kitchen, very calmly picked up the flaming pizza box and put it into the sink and turned the water on. And, and then the fire was out. And he did not, you know, freak out. He wasn't surprised. He wasn't scared. He wasn't nothing. He just, cool as a cucumber, got up and, and, and fixed it. But my aunt, when she saw the fire, when we all peeked in the, in the doorway and she saw the fire, she just screamed so loud. She, she was so scared to see this big fire in her kitchen. She lost it. Yeah, we don't play games where we try to scare my aunt because that's mean because she gets way too scared. But, you know, sometimes in life, it seems like just looking around the world, I kind of feel like my aunt sometimes. Right, you know, like with all the natural disasters and all of the all the the wars and riots and and diseases going around, it just seems like everything is out of control, and I feel like I'm just I feel like I'm just scared of everything, but God's not. None of this stuff that's happening in the world surprises God or scares God, and He's even more on top of things than my dad is. Way more on top of things. God's got a plan for all the crazy stuff happening in the world, and it's a really good plan. You know, all this bad stuff, like the natural disasters and the wars and the riots and the diseases, it all comes from people trying to do things their own way instead of doing things God's way. As soon as Adam and Eve decided they were going to do things their own way instead of doing things God's way, when they decided they were going to sin, sin entered the world and all this bad stuff came with it. And bad stuff's going to keep happening for a while and in fact probably get worse. But God has a plan. Nothing surprises God and nothing can overcome God. So my challenge to you guys today is that if you are, you're feeling overwhelmed by all this stuff happening in the world and feeling like it's just all out of control, I want you to, to just take a deep breath and remember that God is in control. None of this stuff scares God. None of this stuff has surprised God and God has a plan for every single thing. I'm not saying that bad stuff won't happen. You know, we did we did lose a couple pieces of hamburger pizza in that pizza box fire that my dad put out. But my dad had things under control. He put that fire out, no problem. And one day God is going to make all things new. He's going to make everything right. Everything will be the way that it should be. And so we can be at peace knowing that God has everything under control. Nothing surprises God. <laughs>